This is not a typical Monday morning. I'm about to go on live breakfast TV. And I'm shitting myself. But if people at home are wanting to try this out, what's your advice for them? Uh, look, advice for them is to 100% um, just give it a go. See if you like it. There is certainly a lot of work to it. Um, you know, do that research. Have a look on eBay to see what the item lying around the house is selling for. St starting at home is definitely the best place um, to get into it. It's risk-free. You're not having to put any money down. Um, and I've got a YouTube channel as well that documents absolutely everything. So uh, I'd encourage everyone to give the Aussie Flipper uh, a quick search up on YouTube and I've got all the hints, tips and tricks there uh, to be able to help you get started. Love your work, Matt. Thanks Good so much for Maddie. coming on today. No worries, guys. Well. Appreciate it. See you soon. I'm vlogging the day, mate. How did I go? Nailed it? <laughs> You're happy? Yeah. You're happy? I'm happy, my man. Well, unbelievable stuff. That was exciting. Um, first time in the studio giving a bit of a spiel around uh, what we do. I was given five or six questions pre-interview and then actually during the interview, they only cut, uh, they cut two or three questions. Um, but I was able to promote, I was able to promote YouTube. And that was the aim, just to say, follow the Aussie Flipper on YouTube. So hopefully there's a few of you watching this now that have come from watching me on Channel 9. And if you were, let me know in the comments below. It certainly is a relief to get that out of the way though, that's for sure. Uh, we've got a massive Monday to get stuck into and fortunately being 10.30 in the morning, we haven't wasted too much time getting that live done, but I wanted to pull up some sales numbers for you to give you a look at how last week went for us selling on eBay and what our goals are for the month of February. If we pull the numbers up here, we did $2,834 worth of revenue on eBay last week, uh, which was really awesome to see. And that means that we're actually on track, 11,000 $351 is our projection for what is just a 28 day month uh, in February. So we just need to keep doing what we're doing. $372 every single day from here on in uh, will get us to that 11,000 that we need. We're buoyed by the fact that we've got $935 from Instagram sales uh, that has come through on top of what has been a pretty decent month on eBay. So uh, if you guys wanna keep seeing these updates on how we're going every single week, uh, definitely obviously let me know in the comments below. But um, Let's dive into some sold items. I think there are about 24 that we're gonna get done this morning. So let's dig into those. Video games were pretty light on this week. We've just had these ones come through. We've got Monopoly and we've got Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legends. Um, they both went for about 20 bucks each. We weren't listing a lot of video games during the week last week. So I think that's why the weekend's been a little bit slower, but um, still a couple of good, nice quick winners, 20 bucks a piece. Now, I may mention last week that the action figure category, we're gonna to start to see a few more sales coming in. We've done all of our Dragon Ball Z action figures from the eBay store buyout, and we're pretty much a quarter of the way through all of our wrestling action figures. They're selling so well. It's almost a category that I actually wanna to start to sell a lot more of now, given the success of it. We've got some sales here in the category to take you through. The first one here is a couple of the action, uh, wrestling figure action figures. These Dudley boys sold for $39.95 as a pair. So that was really cool to see them come through for a very good ASP. Um, this Dragon Ball Z action figure um, sold for $35. So not bad for what is just a little five inch action figure. Um, Triple H here in the, in the WWE, he sold for about 20 bucks as well. They're typically going for about 20 to $25 each. And we've got about a hundred of them to sell. So there's gonna be some big money in that. Um, all of these mini Simpsons action figures, I've got 46 out of a total 48 for a complete set. Uh, we managed to sell these for $250 plus $20 worth of international postage off to America. Um, so an awesome turnaround there on a big stack of Simpsons collectibles. And then we've got these two here as well. We've got a Star Wars um, Funko Pop here that sold for $17. And these Pokemon coins that we pretty much predominantly sold on Instagram, I've sold the remaining uh, set of, I think about 10 of them there. Uh, and they went for $190 in total. So some awesome money coming through on the Pokemon coins plus all of these other collectibles, there's gonna be plenty more to come. This was an awesome sale. $65 for a Queensland Maroons State of Origin jersey, uh, plus $25 worth of international shipping. It's off to the UK. So even though there's a bit of wear on this one, a 30 year commemorative, as you can see on the badge there, um, this was an awesome sale. I, I can't exactly remember how much I paid for it, 
But to get, you know, 65 plus 25 is fantastic. And then we've got four hats that have come through and sold as well. We've got a Waratahs Rugby Union hat that sold for $25, brand new with tags. Also got a Burton snowboarding hat, very good brand Burton, that was $25 as well. And you may have remembered if you've been watching past episodes, these heritage hats that I picked up from a thrift store, I think I bought about 10 of them all up and I bought them for just two bucks a piece and they're all selling for around about that $20 price point. So a buyer has bought both of these for 20 a piece, $40, That'll get shipped off in a cardboard box for $7.50. Pretty good turnaround on that one. So the hats are good sellers and the sports jerseys are also really good too. All right guys, we've got three pairs of shoes that have come through as well. These ones here, there was a little bit of damage on them. Uh, you can see a bit of a peel there. I didn't realize at the time of purchasing it that it had this issue. So therefore I had to reduce the price slightly. We pulled it down to $34 and we've got a sale price come through. So I'm not gonna make a lot of profit on these. Um, really make sure that you're doing a thorough check of the items before you go on to purchase them. Um, that was a little bit disappointing, but Keen is still a very good brand to be buying. Uh, this one here as well was a really great turnaround. I bought these for about three or $4 at a local thrift store, and we got a $40 sale price. The condition of them is obviously excellent, and a $40 sale price in just a couple of days is exactly what you want. Uh, and then these ones here, I bought these over in the US. Um, so it's been about nine to 10 months worth of a sell-through rate for these shoes. They're actually tennis shoes. Um, and they went on to sell for just about $26. It wasn't a lot of money. Um, I'm not gonna be making a heap of profit on those either. But I've got so many shoes here to sell that I'm really just trying to get anything I can to clear a few of them out the door. DVDs, the number one selling category. Another good weekend. Uh, we've got these five sales over here that I won't go into too much detail. They are just the bread and butter winners around that $15 price point that we always like to work from. Uh, these ones here, a couple of volume purchases. Uh, Lightning Point season one and two. We've got a $25 sale price on that one there. We've got a $25 sale price on Skins as well. Uh, season one to five. Doctor Who, a really good series to be finding. Always goes for some good money, this one. Um, $35, the sell-through rate on this was literally 24 hours. So that's a good one for you guys to be finding out there. And then we've got a big international sale for the TV show Power. Um, this one, seasons one to six, I believe is complete. It sold for 60 bucks plus $20 worth of international postage off to the USA. Um, it did come from the Blockbuster video store buyout, which is just continuing to get a heap of sales come through. So. DVDs, it wasn't the biggest and the best weekend we've ever had, but some really good consistent sellers. Good afternoon. Thanks heaps, see you later. Usually in this part of the video, Matt and I would go thrifting, but we went last Friday, so roll on the footage. This is wild. Courtney, this is like, this is hitting the jackpot. So this was a pretty crazy opportunity. We had uh, a really nice guy that runs this uh, thrift store, bring some video games from out the back. As you can see here, a lot of Nintendo DS, a lot of Xbox, PlayStation, even some computer games in there as well. So uh, I was really excited to see it because I knew no other resellers had got their hands on it. Uh, Courtney and I did some quick comp searching and we quickly realized it was probably best to go ahead and split them up So that's what we're doing here Just moving the computer games to one side because I don't really thrift them so much And we ended up coming out with all of these video games They were sort of starting around the $15 price point That Barbie game there goes for about 30 and it was probably the best of the bunch So uh, really cool to be able to get our hands on about 8 or 9 listings there in the video game category uh, As you heard over the weekend we didn't get as many sales um, so it's really good to see the video games coming through for us. Found this one as well. Um, we had a um, Mario um, Olympic Games one there that always consistently sells for about 20 bucks. So um, that was good to see on the shelf. And I also found Heartbeat. This is a crazy show. Um, look, if you can find all 17, 18 seasons, it goes for a few hundred dollars. But that little allocation I've got there goes for about 120. 
All right, so that was epic. We've got some DVDs, we've got some video games, $260 worth of revenue. We're well on our way. So definitely a few really cool items that we're able to pick up last Friday that we've already listed up over the weekend. So fingers crossed they can go on to sell. What a massive Monday it's been, guys. Got away with it on the Today Show this morning. I was definitely nervous going in, but very stoked with the way that it turned out. And to be able to kind of plug the YouTube channel right at the end there, uh, it was really exciting. If you missed the interview, it is linked in the description below, guys. I'll leave you with last week's video right here in case you missed it. Appreciate your support as always. We'll see you soon. You gotta say the whole bit. Yeah. Friday, so roll on the footage. Yes! That was awesome! <laughs> I was like, I just have to keep going. That was awesome!